We do. At, at what point do we take the hats off? Oh, I think we should. When you get arrested it. at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're keeping them we on. We should style it out for now. Okay, let's They're freestyle it out. Enjoy your hand, do. I think it. it's good. It's very puss in boots. Mm. <laughs> it is puss in boots, yeah. It, it is. Um, well, nice to have you both with us. Thank you very evening. much. Yeah, thanks for um, having us. On. Congratulations, Catherine. Already sold out all your shows here in Edinburgh. Yeah, I had to do no work. Just came up here and enjoyed <laughs> the city. I love Edinburgh. I love coming Isn't back. Isn't it great? Um, and beautiful. Paul, you've got a couple left, not not that many. No, we're doing. We only started yesterday, in fact, so we've got loads yet. We, we've yeah. got another uh, eight, nine shows to do. We're doing an impro show at the Pleasance at four o'clock. Great fun. Good. And uh, Patrick, your show is that selling? Oh selling yes, my my, sh my show is almost <laughs> completely sold out, Alex. Yes, the, there's no point going to patrickhealty.com for tickets at all. No. <laughs> at all. My show. My show is called Catherine Merton, and it's completely <laughs> sold out. I thought your show was called Cancelled. It's all on all the posters. <laughs> <laughs> it well, is after this. It is. Well, there's plenty of comedy gold, of course, here in <clears throat> Edinburgh. But in the 1970s, Aberdeen was swimming in a very different kind of gold, black gold. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dollar I ever earned. Uh, I love it here. I came to show Aberdeen how to eat tea cakes. I'm doing a great job showing them that, uh, like many travelers before me. No, I, I love it here, and stand-up in the UK, I think, is the best in the world. In Canada, I kind of wasn't doing very much of it, just starting out. And there are incredible stand-ups who come from Canada, Stuart Francis, I love, and Craig Campbell, and uh, Phil Nichol, there are so many, but a lot of them come here. Why do you think that is? Why, why do you say the stand-up situation here is, is more interesting? I really believe that uh, British culture is a night out. They'll support live music and art and comedy every night of the week. In Canada, in my own personal experience, we didn't leave the house much, like maybe to see a hockey game. <laughs> we, didn't, we kind of invested in one night out a month, maybe, and you stay in your town. Well, I suppose the Edinburgh Festival is a very, the very notion of what you're talking about, the British culture of going out and seeing stuff with all the stuff that's here. People, yeah, yeah. you know, with beers uh, in the early evening just waiting yeah. for the rain. That's what it's all There's about, Paul. many yeah? here. Many. Uh, but yeah. your new show is called Cathbum, well, the one you're performing here in Edinburgh. Yes. You're on tour. Um, with it in October. That's all about going back to your Canadian roots, though, and there's a good reason why you've sort of written this show, isn't there? Yeah, my family called me Kath Bum, and I had to go home for my little sister's wedding as soon as the fringe is done. And she's my baby sister, she's my favorite one. I mean, my parents had other children, but nobody <laughs> likes Joanne. Uh, <laughs> Joanne went the other way. She went to BC, and she's like very mm. much a hippie. BC. British Columbia, ah. the beautiful bit of Canada. I'm not from the beautiful bit of Canada, so I don't like to go home. But for my baby sister's <laughs> wedding, I have to go. They expect that I'm going to give this amazing speech. But it's going to be really difficult for me. I wasn't exactly popular in my hometown. No, but we have a very, very cute picture. Oh, we do of have a lovely from... picture oh, great. of you. So you're going to see why. Well, well, no, I think this is this is what a popular child yeah, should yeah. look like. That's. Can you How talk old us through you that, Catherine? Oh, uh, that is my prom night. I was 18 years old. <laughs> no, I was four, but I really look like a nan, don't I? My nan did my hair and makeup. It, it's kind of Ronald yeah, McDonald does Irish dancing. <laughs> yeah, it's that kind of. I've got the sadness of a very old man in that photo. <laughs> I didn't. I, my mom put me in lots of um, tap dancing, ballet, just performing, performing, and I, I kind of found my own way to do it in stand up. I love stand up comedy. It has rescued me. The UK has rescued me. I'm so happy here. So happy to have a British child. <laughs> I love it. I love her little accent. Aww. She talks like this way, mummy. <laughs> And I genuinely didn't know that they could come out British. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. And you've been taking her on stage with you since she was a really, really little girl. I mean, 21 days old. 21 days old. Well, I would booked a gig at uh, Latitude Festival in Suffolk, and I also didn't know that it was difficult to have a newborn. I hadn't been on any of the blogs. I didn't have an NCT group. Yeah. And so I booked this gig. I thought, how difficult could it be? It was quite difficult. 20 windows in, I had to strap her to myself just so that she didn't cry. But I didn't have any material about babies, so I just like, <laughs> didn't mention just it. Just a normal sentence. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't mention it. The child's bouncing along and her little legs out in the carrier. She's here. She's with her babysitter now. She loves the fringe. She loves you, Mr. Martin. Does she? Yes. She's very wise. <laughs> <laughs> very good taste. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. 
Uh, well, we will chat about your show as well, Paul, yes. in a second. Um, no first of all, we need to remind the audience Ooh. that every night this week from Edinburgh, we've got this showcase on the red button straight after our show. So if you didn't see it last night, or indeed the night before, it's all on the iPlayer for you. Here's a taste of what happened last night. Um, because you found it quite difficult. Improv is terribly frightening. I cried. <laughs> Takes a lot to make me cry. One improv class, though. I was like, please don't make me. Because you've just got to not think. And I like the security of having like, a plan. Mm. So is, it's is something it... you get used to. You, you know, it, it's practice. Anybody can do it, but you do need to practice. And you need to be on stage with people who are also supportive. I've been in impro groups before where two people don't get on. And so every scene they do becomes an argument. So, oh. you know, you get a set up and say, oh, oh uh, the birth of a newborn baby, a lovely moment. So, you know, yeah. they say, oh, what a lovely baby. Well, he's not yours for a start. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... That's how it is. That's very accurate, actually. <laughs> that's, that's real life, as every man and woman will confirm. <laughs> but you also do stand-up with your wife. With uh, well, no, I, I, Impro, yeah, with Suki, yeah. yes, it, it helps a great deal. Um, she's one of the people I get on with, which is, which is lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's five of us all together, and it's a very happy social group after the show. So, yes. unlike the stand-up who has, you know, themselves, the free weeks or the two weeks on stage we have a bit of a party afterwards so I would ex urge every stand-up to become an improviser Really? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be out of work. But you were saying at least you don't have to pre-plan. No, no, as long as you can down. do it, as long as you can yeah. be funny for an hour with your friends improvising, then it's easy. It's a bit like a tightrope walker walking across Niagara Falls. To him, it's a 300-yard walk. He doesn't think about that bit down there. Yeah. We don't think about that bit down there. We just think about the other side. <laughs> so and then, and then the brilliant thing about it as well is that every show you just, you know, that's every done. Every show is completely different, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, you know. So uh, one, one minute you're impersonating the electric teapot, the next minute you're a Mexican mouse trying to buy a house in El Salvador or whatever, you know, it can be anything, <laughs> anything, can anything at all. Can you do an electric teapot for us now, just to see how that An electric work? teapot? Yeah. Can I do an electric teapot for yeah. you now? No, I can't. And if I, and if I could, I wouldn't waste my time on this show. Oh. <laughs> I'd, I'd be playing Las Vegas with my electric teapot act. Good improv! <laughs> No, electric teapot. <laughs> also, electric teapot is a very late night act. You don't want it at this yes, family you, hour. The BBC couldn't clear my no, electric no. teapot. Absolutely not. I've seen it. Yeah, okay. I can do a cafeteria with a Welsh accent. Go on, then. No, I can't. I keep... <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying these things I can't do. That's impro for you. And, and so, do the audience, are there certain things the audience you know will, audiences tend to shout out? or is Yes, it... and you have to steer them away from that. If you ask for a style of fiction, it will get Harry Potter. If you ask for a historical character, you get Henry VIII. If you ask for a household object, for some reason, you get toilet brush. Okay. Why that's funny, I don't know, but for over 30 years, people have been shouting out toilet brush. If we asked you for an animal in the zoo, you would say. Zebra. Zebras are funny animal. Uh, Tigers are funny. Anteaters are funny. Donkeys aren't funny. It's a shame you didn't go for panda, you see. Ah, uh, panda's a good one. Panda's quite yeah. funny. Yeah, yes. pandas are very funny. Why, why is it a shame I didn't go for panda? Well, because it's a big day. Is it a big a day? panda who mm. lives in Edinburgh, oh. who, fingers crossed, is going to be a dad soon. Yes. Really? A dad? Uh, yeah. With a woman? Yes. Yes. And to celebrate, he's bought himself works, an electric yeah. teapot. It works, that's very good. <laughs> it's also his 12th birthday. Yes. And so we were going to actually bring, you know, we're going to bring You've got a panda here. A panda! We, 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 we're going to see a panda. Here he is. We're going to see a panda, kids. A panda. Oh, no, I've let the kids die. I've let the kids die. The, uh, the kids are disappointed. No panda. No panda. BBC no panda. scandal. No panda. No, BBC no scandal. Panda. No panda. No, it's not your fault. It's yep. your sister's fault. Yep. No. <laughs> so, there, there is no panda, but what no we panda. decided to do was we decided to bring a show yes. yeah. to the panda. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Here it is. Oh, you've got a film as well. I wonder what we were talking about.